Hello and welcome to another video. On this video, we will compare on this tablet. I do have it both programs installed. The Pro Diag and X Tool, and we'll compare also with the new software from Delphi because you request to see a video like this one. We will start to make a short diagnostic. Okay. Let me unplug this and plug it again. Okay. It's come very fast. I don't skip and it's and you noticed which one is faster. And we'll go short to this one. Okay. And most important for us is the live data. Okay. Let's select all of them. And Now you have these graphics, which is really nice. Then we have this one. We have this one. This one looks more like actuation. It is not bad, uh, this uh, design of the software, but he have also a few uh, things what I don't like it when he work. I mind about functionality. Reaction is a little bit slow. I forgot to tell you, this tablet have uh, 6 uh, gig of RAM. and 128 capacity, but this is not important. On this tablet, the software should run very fast. Okay, let's see here, everything. Uh, or Let's combine this. Oh, okay. And now let's see what we have. On actuation, we have only electrical fan. I will change the diagnostic. I will put another one who work with uh, Diag Pro and let's see also how many options we have over there and I change the diagnostic and we will move to this one this is Diag Pro I hear the beeping
okay this one is not capable to uh, connect automatically I hear it again it's connecting to the diagnostic and let's see if it's capable to connect with the car I do not also hear the connection Okay, it is not capable to, to connect automatically, and we go manually. Okay, okay I should stop the engine. Okay. Then in my opinion definitely X tool. It was much faster with connection and it uh works also with our automatically uh, connection, I mean, wind detection. Okay, we press on the health report. It seems to be slower than Xtool on scanning. And if you notice, actually, this is uh, a software from a very known company. You know very good which one. Okay, we go on the motor. Okay, with fault codes, we have this one. Uh, let's see, general. Select all of them. I should start the engine. Okay, there are only this one here. In general. Not operated. I don't see also many options over here and what we do have here also electrical fan and delete fault memory then more than that unfortunately it doesn't show us and I'm really surprised because it's uh, it's a BM and he have a lot of uh, electronical over there From here, I will jump to very known diagnostic. Most of the people use this one also today. And we are now to another software. Let's see the connection. Okay. We will run this also to Bluetooth. Uh, let's see if it's capable to read automatically
Yes, I hear the relay. These tablets have only two gig of RAM, and it's with Windows 10 installed. Okay, she extracts something here. I don't. Yes, I believe it is true because I I showed already the five series over there, and I don't know. I believe this one. It's I, I forgot the year. But anyway, we will take 2007. And here we go on the diesel. It's a M. And let's see now if it's capable to read or not. Over here we have only four errors. I don't remember any other ones, but let's go on to live data. We take a few of them. And as I said, this is a good quality of this clone. It's a single board with full chip. And I changed the FTDI chip with the original one. And also the relays. I will show you in another video how you can rework this clone to make it stable with BM and Opel. And also it tracks. Let's see here what we have. This is reset adaptation. I forgot to go on the Diac Pro because you have also another menu with things what you can install it on the on the car on the engine compartment what you can reset over there. X2 doesn't have this, but uh, Diac Pro have these things. Injector programming. I, I'm not so sure if I will try with this one, but why not? And let's see here. It's also only electrical fan. Then on this, uh, diagnostics seems to have same connection with, with the car. And actually it's not bad at all for uh, Delphi. One minus is because it takes long time for the connection and what I like on this new software it's uh, it show you where the connection is and you can click on the picture and you'll see where is your OBD plug because I do have Bosch with me let's see also what Bosch can do on this car and now I have Bosch connected with the car will make much easier. I have the old version because I don't use actually anymore this one. I use it only for Ford, for PSG pump, PSG 5 to reset the pump, only for that reason I still keeping this, uh, I still keep this uh, diagnostic. Okay. I will go only on the engine. I hear also the relays. 
when they are clicking over there. I should make these videos during the day when it's more light, but unfortunately I don't have time. Okay. I'm not so sure if I saw this uh, error in another uh, diagnostics. And also the first one. Delphi show only glow plugs, I believe. Okay. We go back. Uh, let's see actor values. What you can do here, you can select more. Actually, let's show you the list and then... Of course, this compare is not fair because... Uh, Bosch, it's another price. Too many. Okay, select too many of them. Sorry for that. I believe two or three. I don't know how much he allowed me to select. Four. Okay. Press F12. These are the values. I know maybe you'll, you'll leave a comment over there. It's not fair because Bosch, it's a diagnostic who was around 3,000 euro and another one's there far away from this price and it is true but let's see what he can activate also okay at the idle with initiation on and this bush can activate and it reads also and you can activate this one. Okay. Then you have more than fan. Okay, let's go back. Functions test. Okay. And adjustments and these things you don't have it also on, on XTAG none of uh, another diagnostic have these things over here but this is another story okay then I close this one because I don't have light anymore here and yeah we don't do too long this video because it will be boring thank you for watching guys and I will show you also in another cars in the newer cars okay bye bye